Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I want to talk about the column layout for account schedule in Dynamics Nav or Dynamic 365 Business Central. So uh, I have an income statement open in my account schedule. So if you go to actions and edit column layout setup, then you can see all the layout uh, column layouts are already set up here, okay? So you can select different column layout for your uh, account schedule to sh uh, to use and then you can click on overview to see how it looks like and also you can print it to uh, a PDF and to Excel and to check how it looks like. So um, basically for the column layout, uh, for the income statement, and uh, I have these two income statement layouts set up here. Then the first one, if we open, we edit this uh, column layout, you could see this is an income statement for the 12 months. And I have column number from one to 13. And the 13 is a total. Then I have to use a formula to calculate between. So this one dot dot 12 means the range from this column number one to the column number 12. So it's calculating the total for these columns. And for each column from one to 12, I'm using a mens. It represents a mens in here. So I put a column header as a mens. So January, February, March, April, May, June, July, August, September, October, November, and December. It's a 12 months in, in the year. And then, uh, so you have these two columns. So sometimes if you do not have this comparison period formula show up in your uh, view, in, your, in this page, then you can click on choose columns and uh, to select it from the left-hand side available columns and add it to the column to show, okay? So sometimes it does not show. Uh, uh, after you add it, then you can move it up. So I move up so it can show together with the comparison date formula. For this period formula, you can use FY, which means fiscal year, or you can use P, which means period, okay? Or you can, uh, but for the date formula, you can use those regular, uh, like the date formula you use in NAV, then usually like uh, CM means uh, current months and CY means current year. But this CY, uh, like these uh, like calendar year, it is not the fiscal year, okay? But this uh, comparison period, this formula is using the uh, fiscal, it's using your fiscal year. So this, uh, if you use a period or if you use a FY, so those are your fiscal year. And so currently this column layout, I'm using the, uh, the, uh, the January to December for my fiscal year period one, two, three, and two, 12. So, but for some companies, their, their fiscal year does not start from January 1st. So for example, this start from uh, December 1st, and then you will put something different. So, uh, for the fiscal year period one, so then you have to put December for FY1 if the fiscal year starts from December 1st, okay? So, and then uh, the if you use the date formula, the comparison date formula, then this is usually associated with your date filter. Your date filter will take effect. But if you don't use this date formula, use comparison period formula, then regardless, regardless like what date filter you use when you run the account schedule report, it's still using this period. So it does not change the data if you use different date filter. That's the difference between using these two columns. So for the same thing, I can use fiscal year or uh, for this 12 months period, I can also use the comparison date formula, but that will depend on the date filter. So that's usually what I don't want to do because I, I, I don't want to, um, I don't want the report to show differently be, uh, because of my date filter. I want to really show like uh, based on the fiscal year period, regardless of the date filter I filter. Okay, so that's for the income statement. This is this is the uh, twelve months. Um, this is the twelve months layout. You can use this column layout, and I have like this is the for the past ten fiscal year. So you could see the formula I use here. Then uh, I have this column header and uh, CFY means current fiscal year. So if it's current year, then you do not need to put in a formula here. 
and you can just select the column type as a year to date. This this uh, fiscal year year to date, and then so for the second column, then you have to use minus one F Y, which which means from current fiscal year minus one fiscal year. Okay, then uh so in order then you have minus ten F Y. So this is calculating the past ten fiscal years. Then when you use this column layout, then you could see the data for the past 10 fiscal years. And for this rounding factor, so the rounding factor, some customer, they do not want to see the decimal. If you put a rounding factor as none, then you will see two decimal places on your report, on your account schedule report. But if you don't want to see those uh, decimal places, you only want to see integer, then you put a rounding factor as one, then everything will show up in the in the uh, integer, okay? So that's run. So we already talked about this column layout. Uh, you also have some other uh, column layout. For example, I have the balance sheet. So you can see in my income statement, and uh, I'm using the year to date for my, um, for my past 10 years. And uh, for this 12 months, I'm using the net change. But for the balance sheet, you're gonna use the balance to date. No, most, most of time you have to use the balance today. If you, I added this column layout, then you could see I also have the 12 months, but instead of the using the column type, not, uh, instead of using the column type net change or year to date, I use the balance at date for my balance sheet. Okay, and this uh, I'm also using the comparison uh, comparison period formula. So this is the fiscal year, the first period. So it's a similar like the income statement. But uh, this layout is using balance side date. It's not using the net change or year to date. So for the uh, but you can so the, even for the twelve months, then you can use uh, the comparison period formula, or you can use the date formula. So but the date formula will if you use the date formula, then your date filter will take effect. It it will rely on your date filter. Okay. So then you see current year minus eleven months is a January. So uh, the way we're thinking ourselves is at uh, December. This is the uh, December, and the current year minus eleven months will be January. So it's still thinking it's uh, uh, the fiscal year will start from January. In uh, the calendar year start from January. Yeah, you know, this is calendar year start from January. That's why we have this. Okay, and. Um, so uh, for other layout, then you can have, also you can have other layout. I don't want to go into detail for, so this one, I think this one, the quarter. So for the quarter, then you can use the period formula, like a, the quarter will be fiscal year from the period one to period three. This is the, this period is means, uh, is the month from the first month to the third month. And then it's a quarter, and from the fourth month to the sixth month is a second quarter. So, um, so then seven months to nine months is quarter three, ten months to twelve months quarter four. Then you can calculate the total, bit uh, starting from the first quarter to the fourth quarter from one to four. This is a total. Okay, so um, then we can take a look how the uh, we can take a look how this column layout looks. One may run the income statement and balance sheet, so you can get out from the column layout and uh, we go back to the income statement. So this is our income statement, and from the income statement, you can click on overview. When you click on overview, then uh, you can select your column layout from here, so, or you can print it out. So we are talking about you only overview it. So we have two income statement created here. One is uh, for the past twelve months. For the 12 months period, and this is for the past 10 years, 10 fiscal years. Let's try with this 12 months. Then you can see this layout is giving you January to December. Okay, and it's the is uh, assuming the fiscal year for starting from January. And then you could see if I change this date uh, date filter. Because remember this column layout, I'm using the comparison period formula. I'm not using the comparison date formula. So it should regardless what uh, date filter I use here. So I just change this date filter to months. You could see there's no change of my data. And uh, I can change this to quarter. 
Then I refresh my data. You can see also there's no change to my data. And I can change it to year. So it doesn't matter what data filter you, you use here. It just uh, uh, because you use the comparison period formula. So that's why it does not uh, change your data in this report. Okay. And the same for the the same for this past 10 months because also I'm using the comparison period formula. So it doesn't matter what uh, date filter, what date filter I use here. I can select months. I, I can select uh, the year. Okay. So you do see this fiscal year change because that's, that's just because like uh, I'm using the current fiscal year, right? And this is the current fiscal year minus one. And uh, this data is based on the year. So that's why if you use a different date filter, you use months, this will change. Because it's, it's not the, we are talking about a fiscal year data and uh, then you filter by months, it's not correct. You should filter by year, okay? So then uh, you could see uh, this fiscal year, then it shows you the last 10 years data. And also, if we can run a balance sheet, uh, we can use a balance sheet, then use the different layout for the balance sheet. So you can see this one is the my balance sheet, then I can change this, then I can go to overview. And uh, for the balance sheet, I have, uh, this is the regular one, only show you the balance. And uh, I have also have this 12 months, configure here, this column layout, if you refresh, you could see, and uh, this 12 months, because I'm using, uh, so for this column layout, if you drew down to my column layout, and then you can see the details. So this one, I'm using the, still using the period formula. So which means if I change this uh, for the 12 months, if I change this filter, it should data re remain the same. It should be regardless of what filter I use here because it's using the past 12 months, okay? So no matter you're using the week or you're seeing the day, and it's still showing the data for the past 12 months. And remember this data. So the other, uh, the other one, the second uh, column layout should, I'm gonna take a screenshot for the data here so we can compare the difference if I switch to the second layout. They should have the same data because they they I'm using this this column layout is using comparison period formula. The other one is using the day formula, but they should have the same effect. They can use interchange interchange play. Uh, so you can see if I refresh this data, okay, and uh, my data is still the same. I change to the other layout, and this layout is using, the data is still the same. This uh, layout, however, is using the comparison date filter, okay? Comparison date formula, instead of the comparison period formula, but they, they have the same effect. Okay, so I think that's everything I want to uh, talk in this video. Thank you so much for watching this YouTube video. I hope to see you guys again next time.